Hi everybody! It's time to show off! Now let's look at this box here and tell me, can you tell where this one came from? You know, just out of curiosity, maybe? A little bit. Yes, I know, a lot of you are, at least some of you are kind of sick of the BBTS plugs, but you know what? Everyone should know, it's my policy to help out everyone who helps me. And they're helping me right now, and I don't know, this is just the box that came in, and it's a good excuse to talk to you guys for a bit, because there are a few things I want to point out, and a few things I do want to show off. And This is ungodly long for what I ordered. What I ordered should not have taken up this much space, so... I don't know, there's either, there's either going to be, oh, there's nothing extra in it, of course not, but, uh, I don't know. unless uh, Big Bad Toy Store has gotten in the habit of disassembling stuff too, which, I'm not recording that anymore, by the way, if someone gets that bright idea in their heads, it's not going on video, nah, you're not going to see it, I'm officially done with it cutesy and entertaining for you. It just irritates me. Thank you for your order. A little promotional. Let's see here. Oh, well, I haven't put the common Riders on here yet. Let's see, the Nest Battle Pack's on here. They're quick. Oh, man. <laughs> All the stock photos that I'm used to. Blah, 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 blah yada, yada. Megatron, Leader, Shadow... Shadow Command Megatron. Wow, these things are printed fast. Well, interesting enough, let's take a look. Let's see here. Oh my god. Uh, actually, actually, yeah, what I what I ordered did take up a box this big. I just hadn't accounted on how freaking big one of them was. This wasn't the one I thought was freaking big. Behold, the Recon Ironhide, otherwise known as Good... God, how many guns can he come with, Ironhide? Oh, I've been I've been holding off on every Ironhide repaint, remold, everything because it's one of my favorite figures from the first movie line. But I, I don't know, I just uh, nah, I can't beat the original. Original's beaten. So I'm gonna see if I can't uh, get an excuse to review that. I might rush review it see into dear god the other one the max for those who have never heard of this independent comic book character uh had a cartoon on mtv for a while it was a really good one actually and made me quite a fan of the character of uh the comic books too and it's freaking huge good god i don't know what i'm gonna do with that Ugh. That, that is way bigger than I expected. That's incredibly cool. And he comes with all the little is, too. That's so cute. Ah, oh, it's gonna be fun. Ah, oh, I can't wait to crack into this one. <laughs> it's bigger than Ironhide, and that's a phone. Hang on. Ah, uh, I cannot keep the slightest bit of professionalism around here. I apologize. That was very, very unexpected. I have no idea where I left off. Uh, Recon Ironhide, a lot of guns. Uh, Max uh, kills people with his middle finger. Move on. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that was it from Big Bad Toy Store. But I just got back from a few store runs, so we're also going to play a game of What's in the Bag. Bag 1 comes from Kmart, and yeah, I'm one of the few places that can actually still find a Kmart in the area. Uh, there's just a few things I want to get out of the way here before I delve into the bags. Uh, I know everyone is wondering who won the contest, Who's gonna, who, who had the best entry, who won. I would love to know. Uh, I have my decision, but this is a two-man thing, and I am waiting for my partner to actually 
get around to picking through the videos and through the text entries for a winner. Uh, so ho hopefully I will have that sometime in the near future. We haven't forgotten about it. We're still paying off the prize. Don't worry. Just uh, give us him a little bit more time. So, okay, let's see. First thing to show off is Starscream, the Voyager. I've been catching such flack for passing up this thing so many times, but for some reason, my Kmart has had these forever and just never gotten a single one sold. So I was lucky enough that uh, despite Christmas, despite the movie being out on DVD now, this was still there. So every th magnificent thing I've heard about this toy, I now get to experience. So very cool. Finally bit the bullet on that one. And let's see. Walmart. I guess this is the corporate edition of What's in the Box. Uh, the worst thing that could happen to a collector on the hunt. The absolute worst. Well, well, there might be a few stipulations, but everyone has had this eventually, and it is... Ugh, going there to find a specific toy, and finding one that's in the same wave, but not the toy you're after. Such was the case at Walmart, where I did find another Recon Ironhide, but unfortunately, no bludgeon. Ugh, you know, I hate that. It's better to find nothing. If you have the clue that what you were after was there, it's just, ah, if you'd been there, like, if you'd been there yesterday, or a week before, or a minute before in some cases, it's, ugh, it's just... Nothing gets on my nerves more, and that that real that really sucked. That really sucked. But I did find a few other things I was after, and nice consolations, all things considered. Dirge. Everything I've heard about this one, I now get to experience too. It's Decepticon Day for the air in for my air for, for fleet. I'll get that word out eventually, and the joke will make sense, but I'm not going to attempt it now. Yes, I've heard awesome things about Dirge here as well. I've been looking forward to him quite a bit myself, so I'm very eager to rip this one open. Very nice. Very nice. I, I need a thrust repaint. That's what I need. And since, uh, since unfortunately Bludgeon wasn't there, and if you've listened to the podcast uh, over at uh, TFW 2005, I'm I'm on the anti Bludgeon bandwagon. I've heard phenomenal things about the toy, but I don't know, just it's too kibbly, and there's some parts that look like they were designed from animated, like the head and the chest that looks like a skull, and uh, he's got kibble all over the place, but he's still trying to be like a Universe 2.0 toy. It's just I don't know, I, th I think they were really unfocused with Bludgeon. You know, I I'm sure my opinion will change once I get it. I'm still going to get it. And, I'll, and, of course, I can't know how good or bad a toy is but until I have it. But, I don't know. I I'm upset that Bludgeon wasn't there, and at the same time, meh. But, I did find a consolation in the discount aisle. Oh... How nice is this? I love my Masterpiece Seekers. I've got... I've got the original. I've got MP Starscream, the Walmart version. I used to have the Japanese version, but I was too paranoid over stress marks breaking and the fact that it looked nothing like Starscream, but I kind of wish I had it because it, it'd make a passable Skywarp from a distance. If you squint and squeeze lemon juice into your eye, but that's besides the point. This thing originally retailed 60 bucks. It was on the shelf for 30, rang up for 20. If you've been putting this guy off, 20 bucks is amazing for a masterpiece seeker. These things are awesome. If you get a US version, the original Japanese, meh. If you've been passing on it, go take a look. If it's still 20 bucks when you go, you're not going to regret it. This thing is, uh, it is gorgeous. 
So that is pretty. That's my haul. That's my big bad toy store. It's my biggest grievance with a toy shop. Uh, thank you, everyone, who's been putting up with this week of silence. I've been trying to get a plastic addict up. I've been trying to. I've been. I've been. I've had so many things that I've got to review and I've got ideas for, but. Just one thing or another just doesn't click. I've got this like serious case of writer's block right now, so I apologize for that. Uh, tomorrow, this camera that is currently recording this is going with me to Ye old Medieval Fair. It's a little tradition between me and uh, the female friend who uh, was on, who just interrupted this <laughs> recording. Ugh. But this is the first time I'm actually going to get to record it, so you'll get to see some of the good times I have there. And pretty much the same fair every year, but we still go, and it's always a blast. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for Plastic Addict. I've got a ton of episodes backlogged in my head, as well as a bunch of surprise toys coming up for TJ's Rehab. And who knows what else. So thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned. It's going to be fun. The best place for toys on the net? BigBadToyStore.com Pre-orders for all the hottest toys. The biggest brands. Imports of your favorites. Vintage toys available again. Collectible replicas and statues. Pile of loot. Buy some now, some later, and get it shipped all at once. It's all there right now at BigBadToyStore.com do you realize you called when my camera was running? Yeah, it's kind of recording this right now. No, I'm doing a video. That's why a camera is running. She says hi.